everyone. Uh, I am Brad, uh, and this is the Gray Noise XSOR demo. Uh, just wanted to go through the basics of what the Gray Noise pack has to offer and show some of the basics of uh, how you can get value out of it right away. Uh, so you can find the, the Gray Noise pack by browsing in the XOR marketplace and go ahead and install it. Uh, once it is installed, uh, you'll go ahead and go over to settings, and you can look for gray noise here. There's going to be both the gray noise and the gray noise community pack. Today we're going to be focused on the full gray noise pack, which provides access to all of the paid components of the gray noise service. Uh, for reference, the gray noise community pack is limited to a single action and is only accessing data available to our community users. Uh, for setting up uh, the integration, uh, pretty straightforward and simple to do. Uh, as expected, you would go in, set up an instance, and drop in your API key. You can run a quick test, uh, ensure that the API key is valid, uh, and then save and exit. Uh, and that's going to go ahead and enable the integration. Uh, there are a handful of custom commands uh, and a few playbooks that are available. Uh, I'm going to review the playbooks first uh, just to show what those look like. Uh, so if we search for gray noise uh, in the playbooks, uh, you'll see that there are a few different calcula uh, calculation and IP reputation playbooks. Uh, each one of these goes through uh, sort of a different uh, set of a modification of either an indicator or an incident uh, to modify the priority uh, with based on the data that gray noise is providing on that particular indicator. Uh, we do have different ones for ingress uh, versus egress traffic, uh, as the logic is a little bit different for there. So you'll want to sort of review each one of those a little bit more in depth. Uh, the main difference uh, is just the severity ratings uh, that are displayed in the end for the indicators. Um, next, I'm going to go over and take a look at an incident that I've brought in. Uh, so here's an incident that I have set up here in XOR, uh, and what we've seen is that this incident has had uh, a handful of indicators included in the investigation data, uh, and each one of those in uh, indicators has been pulled out uh, and enriched. Uh, the gray noise pack automatically uh, adds data to the IP reputation command. So if you're using the IP reputation command in some of your playbooks already, uh, you'll see that the gray noise data automatically starts flowing in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and impact the, the reputation here, uh, and you'll see us listed as one of the, the sources uh, that has enriched each one of those indicators once we are enabled. If you want to go ahead and dig into an indicator, we can go ahead and look at that full details, and we can see some of the data that Gray Noise has provided. So uh, you can see that in this demo, we have both uh, virus total and Gray Noise enriching this indicator. Uh, and then by viewing the details of what the integration has returned, uh, you can see that this IP address has come from the Gray Noise Riot data set, uh, and we're indicating that it is a CDN. Uh, and so you can use this additional information to impact the investigation that you're doing. All right. Uh, if we go back to the incident, we can dig into uh, another one of these just to see what else we have. So this is one that has been set as malicious. So if we, again, browse into those full details, uh, we can see that Red Total is actually giving this a good indication where gray noise is indicating it as malicious. Uh, and you can see that the maliciousness is based off of the tagged uh, data that we've seen. Uh, and you can also get a full indication of what our classification is uh, if we've identified an actor, uh, if the traffic that we've observed from this is spoofable, uh, whether it's come from a VPN, whether it's known bot activity, uh, or whether it's Tor exit node. Plus, you can see the first and last time data that we've observed. As a reminder, uh, gray noise is providing internet background noise data, and so what we're telling you is that this IP address has been observed scanning the internet, uh, and there is some malicious intent uh, behind what it is doing. Uh, and so you sort of want to take that into consideration as you're going through it. Again, this is going to be just an opportunistic scan. Uh, it's not something that's necessarily going to be targeted at your environment, uh, but you want to go ahead and proceed your investigation with whatever your protocols and processes are for that data. Uh, in addition, we're going to go back to our investigation, uh, and we're going to see uh, what 
has been added to the war room. Uh, so for each one of the indicators, all right, we can see, again, this full uh, summary details here. Uh, you're able to go ahead and actually navigate out to a direct link to the gray noise visualizer if you want to see the full data available on our visualizer. All right, you can also browse up and see the remaining information available here. Uh, some additional things that we can look for uh, is to see if uh, any of these have CVEs associated with it. So what this is indicating is that this particular IP address uh, has been known to search for this CVE. So something that may be of interest and something else that you can do is see what else Gray Noise has to know about this particular CVE and what its scanning profile looks like. So if we do a Gray Noise custom query down here and we say we want to go ahead and pass it a CVE, we pop in that CVE number and we run this, all right, that's going to add that query uh, to our war room so we can see that additional context. Uh, and you can see that there have been quite a few IP addresses out there scanning for uh, the CVE. This is likely associated with the term blue and that's why we're seeing so many hits. Uh, so that is one of the, the many pivot points that you can do. Uh, again, from our custom commands, uh, you can see that we have uh, a context command, which is going to do an IP check to see if it's part of our internet scanning uh, database. Uh, we can do a quick check, which is going to just give you a quick uh, yes, no uh, on a particular IP address. So let me show you an example of that one. So if we do a quick check on just something simple, say quad one here, we pass it in and we can see what's returned. So again, we're just going to get that quick look up and say, is it internet noise? Uh, no, it is not. Is it in Riot? Which means, is it a common business service? Uh, and we get a true response on that as well, along with some additional information. Um, uh, additionally, we also have the query, which I've shown. Uh, uh, we also have a straight RIOP lookup. So if you want to go ahead and see if an IP address just belongs to a common business service, you can pass an IP to that. Uh, and then if you want to get stats, uh, which we're going to say is basically sort of built on a query. So for instance, uh, say we want to go ahead and just see uh, what's going on with gray noise for the last day. We can do a last seen one day with stats. Uh, and this is just going to give us some of the overview information to see what gray noise has seen. So gray noise has observed uh, 200,000 IP addresses. Here's the breakdown of their classifications, uh, how many are spoofable or not, the top organizations we're seeing, and the top actors. And again, if you want to browse out to the full data, you can see the full data table as you expand out uh, the results of this action and see all of the different statistics that have come back uh, for what we have seen in the last day. All right, and then we can also go ahead and take a look at our work plan uh, to see what was uh, used here. So in this case, I was using the IP reputation command. Uh, so we've determined, are, are there IP addresses to enrich in here? Uh, is gray noise enabled? Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and ensure that we run that gray noise IP reputation. So very simple, very straightforward, just to ensure that uh, I, gray noise is in fact enriching uh, all of those external IP addresses as they come in. Uh, I'm going to navigate out and see if I can find uh, another playbook here. So give me one moment. Oops, I'm in the wrong view. This is what happens when you do a demo live. Uh, if we look at our last 30 days, I think I have another sample one here where I've used a different playbook. So we're going to go ahead, pull in, uh, again, just sort of looking at, you know, uh, an in incident that contains a whole bunch of external IP addresses. Uh, all of the data, again, parsed out with gray noise enriching uh, the data where we can. All right. And then if we go ahead and look at the work plan here, uh, in this case, we've used our ingress network traffic. All right, and what we're actually going through here is we're getting the IP enrichment data from gray noise, uh, and then we're actually modifying the severity of the incident to medium based on what we've actually seen. So in this particular case, you can see our severity has been set as medium, uh, and based on the logic you want to build in, uh, you can go ahead and you know modify this to whatever meets uh, your typical SLAs and procedures around this kind of data. Uh, and that is sort of the gray noise uh, integration in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can always reach out to us at support at graynoise.io. Uh, thanks.